This is Steve. And this is Sean. This is Acromedia's High Five. So, Steve, what are we going to talk about today? Well, Sean, we're going to do a bit of a mini-series on Drupal Commerce, specifically Commerce 2.x, which is Commerce for Drupal 8. That uh, wasn't thought, confusing at all. I hope not. <laughs> um, I thought we could start with catalog functionality. So if you want to go ahead and explain what is catalog functionality. So what you're saying is I should sort of do everything at <laughs> this point. Well, I can talk about it if you'd like, but... Yeah, that would be lovely. Okay. So have you ever opened up a Sears magazine? <laughs> Let's start there. The Sears catalog, you mean? What's Sears magazine? Oh, is sorry. That, no, I meant the Sears catalog. Is that where they have articles I've, about? I've, I've, blown, I've blown this already. Okay. I think maybe you should take over. Okay. The articles about things that happen in Sears. Absolutely. Things like that or whatever. Okay. I feel like that's your age demographic, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. The, the one year and one month or something that I'm older than you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but why don't you go ahead and talk a little okay. bit about just what is catalog functionality, not specifically in Drupal. We'll get there in a minute. Okay, catalog functionality uh, in general is listings of products. Usually you need to display multiple products on a page so people can browse through them and pick what catalog they need. Um, it comes from the old catalogs, the print catalogs, like Sears Catalog that you were talking about, and mm -hmm. it's basically just a listing of all your products um, that people can look through, and it can have filters and categories and other ways of people sort of you know, getting down from thousands of products into you know, hopefully tens or something that they can actually scan through. So now that we kind of have a bit of an idea of just what is a catalog in terms of a website, how does Drupal Commerce handle it? So Drupal Commerce, especially for Commerce 2.x, handles it a little bit different than a traditional catalog and different than how it used to do it, mm -hmm. um, oftentimes by default uh, in Commerce 1, which is everything is actually um, just search results that come up, um, but it appears like a catalog. So if you filter by a specific tag or a parameter, it presents like a catalog page, which mm -hmm. you know you can have nice rows of products and everything. Um, and, it, and they can be categories, they can have menu structure um, uh, that you use to get there, but really it's a search result. Mm -hmm. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to do all the filters like you would do with a search. You can be in a category as far as um, you can tell, and then you can do a keyword search in there. You can filter by price, you know, brand, color, all the different parameters you so can So I should be thinking kind of like with. the Amazon model and that's kind of how Drupal Commerce is doing it out of the box. Yes, uh, Amazon has a, a bit of a sort of detriment of they have to encompass every single type of product that basically exists. Mm -hmm. um, so they have to be fairly generic, whereas um, if you're doing something specific for Drupal Commerce, you can be quite precise because you might only sell a certain type of product. So, you know, you can have, uh, you know, shirt sizes or product colors mm -hmm. or engine um, sizes or something like that. And uh, that can be more specific to yours because maybe that is for lots of your products because you don't sell everything like Amazon does. So then um, now that you're kind of mentioning, you know, the entire like a uh, facet search feature here, uh, how does that, how do you actually weight products, you know, how do you actually know what's going to be displayed? Um, I mean, you can do uh, some stuff that, that's very uh, rigid. So you can say, hey, display everything with this tag. Mm -hmm. So that's basically just like a category. You go, okay, I want to show, you know, all sports equipment. Mm -hmm. And then you have a tag, everything that's sports equipment has that tag. You search for sports equipment, it's going to have all your sports equipment, right? Makes um, sense. And it can just be alphabetical or just however it comes out of the database. Mm -hmm. um, or you can give more weighting on that. You can say, hey, you know, these ones sell more, so put them higher up. You know, these are more popular. Or maybe, you know, we're going to put products up and we're going to put accessories lower down and you can add manual weightings to them. You can mm -hmm. have weightings based on other tags. You can have weightings based on uh, dynamic data, you know, like uh, what they are for sellers or what their price is. You know, maybe you, you know, you have a certain price range that you want to show first. You want to show the sure. more expensive stuff first or the yeah. cheaper stuff first. So you can do sort of this whole... Uh, mix of different uh, parameters to generate your stuff. And so that's why we say it's search and not sort of a true catalog, which is just, here's everything in sporting goods, which is bad for anything over 20 products or so. Sure, and what are the big key differences between Commerce 1 and Commerce 2 with how catalogs are dealt with? Um, so the <laughs> Commerce cool. 1, I laugh Let me a hear bit it. because it, um, Commerce 1 uh, didn't really even have much set up for that by default. It was just like uh, use views in Drupal or use kind of whatever mm -hmm. um, is there for standard and you can show products that way. So people would usually just make a view, which is allows for some basic filtering, mm -hmm. but is pretty sort of um, ho-hum. Whereas the default in uh, Commerce for Drupal uh, 8 is going to be search API, so everything is a search. It doesn't really have the concept of this views model or whatever. You could still do that if you want. Um, there's not really an instance where it would make sense. Um, and so it's just search right from the get-go. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you hit us just with a quick too long didn't read in case people s decide to skip right to the end here and not pay attention to anything we just said.
that's shameful, but uh, categories are, or catalogs are now searches, um, so they're cool and flexible, and they can do whatever you want. I like that. Well, mm -hmm. that being said, subscribe to our channel, comment, or if you have any questions, do so below. Also, you can uh, follow us on Facebook, you can check out our blog at acromedia.com, and you can also follow me on Twitter.